Hello everyone, and welcome to Planet Linux. I'm glad you found this video, as today we're taking a look at Antergos Gnome. If you're not familiar with Antergos, it's essentially an installer of sorts, uh, a graphical installer, for the Arch uh, Linux distribution. And it's really great for people who uh, don't want to take the time to set up an entire Arch-based system themselves, or someone who's just new to Arch Linux and wants to get right into it with something that's sort of pre-set up and uh, ready to work out of the box. Some people consider Antergos to be more of just a graphical installer, other people call it a full distribution, uh, but whichever you believe it is, it does give a pretty user-friendly um, and feature-rich Arch-powered uh, system. Now, this is relatively similar to the default look you get out of the box. Um, I've switched a lot of things back to their defaults as this was, I had this highly customized before I started recording. Um, it uses the Numix theme by default, which is from the Numix project. They've partnered with them. And it's certainly a good theme. Of course, we have the uh, gray paneling here along the, or the gray background along the top panel as well as for the background of the dash to dock extension. Um, window elements are also Numix. And it's overall a very good looking theme, very clean. Not a huge fan of the folder icons myself, but hey, those can be changed. And I did have this changed quite a lot prior to this video. Of course, I have enabled the applications and places menus up here. Normally, it's just the activities overview. I also have this weather extension in the panel. Now, Antergos really does give the best of Arch Linux in a more user-friendly uh, way because you don't have to set any of this stuff up yourself. You know, it's just you boot up the live system, start the install process, and choose your desktop environment, which is sort of unique to Antergos. It actually lets you choose uh, which desktop environment you wish to install. I believe the choices include, uh, of course, the base command line, as well as GNOME, KDE, MATE, Cinnamon, uh, XFCE, and the Openbox window manager. And I've used KDE, I've used the XFCE version, as well as, of course, the GNOME version here, and everyone has their preferences for desktop environment, but the GNOME one does seem really polished. At least, it did seem really polished when I installed this, and I ran it for about a month, I customized the hell out of it, and it's really, it was a great system, however, I started running into some issues with it, and these were in the Update Manager. Now, I love Arch Linux because it has the Arch User Repository and a ton of software, and the Update Manager is very easy, very simple to use, works great. You'll notice this is 233 available updates, and it's because this hasn't been updated in a little while. The reason for that... Um, is that I really can't update the system. This will go through starting to download when it needs to, and it pops up in a moment saying invalid or corrupt packages. Now it doesn't tell you which ones, and when it here we go, when it does this, it just stops. It doesn't install any of the updates. So you're kind of left to figure out which packages are the problem. And it turns out that it's the Antergos Keyring, Antergos Mirror List, as well as the Package Manager PAMAC, which is the command line base for the Package Manager. And if I uncheck these, figuring, well, okay, um, I'll just install all of the other updates and then worry about fixing those later, I it doesn't really work so well because one of the packages requires the Antergos mirror list as a dependency. 
So essentially, I can't install updates unless I found that one package that's actually requiring, well, or numerous packages that are requiring the Antergos mirror list, but then none of them would be updated as well. And I spent a good amount of time on the internet trying to find a solution to this on forums, uh, blogs, and I just couldn't. I probably spent a good three hours looking around for a solution, asking people on forums. It, j There was no solution out there that I was able to find. And this really surprised me because I've used uh, other Arch systems like Manjaro Linux in the past and I've had issues with them before and generally been able to find answers and solutions on various forums and chat rooms and it's been pretty easy. Um, and Entergos has a decent community but I could not find a solution whatsoever and so due to that as you can see here 233 new updates I, I can't update this system until I find a solution and so I've had to essentially just stop using Antergos at least this installation of it and I suppose it's possible that I just have some bad file or something and maybe a reinstall would fix it but maybe it wouldn't and at this point I really just don't want to have to go through setting everything up how I want it again only to find out that the, it, it's still going to have an issue. And so it's kind of pushed me away from using Antergos. And I'm not saying you shouldn't, because it may work just fine for you. It could be some random application I've installed that's doing this. Um, but it's hard to say. It's, it's not a kernel issue as far as I'm aware. Um, I'm running, I believe the latest kernel is 4.11. 4.12 may be out now. I'm not sure, but I know that it 4.11 was the latest when this issue started happening. And so I don't think it's an issue being of the kernel being out of date. Um, and I, I just have yet to figure out what the issue is. And I can't type today. Uh, this does not give me any information I was looking for. I was hoping to give me like a date of the last um, main Intergos release, but it just says rolling, so that's really helpful. Um, yeah, so it's one of those things, I love using this, and I had customized it a ton. I actually had the dash to dock extension on the bottom, uh, I had it transparent. I actually had most of the system with a sort of translucent look to it. Uh, within the tweak tool, which I don't think that was installed by default. It might be. It normally is in GNOME now, so it probably was. Uh, I had the Numix Frost light theme, the Mocha icon set, and the Mocha Gourmet shell theming. Um, this is kind of how my system was, partially. Uh, before I started this video, and it's just a shame that, you know, I've had such issues with updates, I essentially can't update the system now, and I'm not able to find a solution for it online, and so, you know, if, you, if you've liked Antergos in the past, or you've thought about giving it a try, I'm not saying you shouldn't, it may work just fine for you, it's a great distribution, uh, as long as it works, but certainly I would certainly go to install updates is one of the very first things you do uh, before doing too much with your system to make sure that it will actually install everything properly uh, and update because you could spend a lot of time getting your system how you want it only to find that you install a certain update down the road and you have an issue with it and that could happen on any distribution but just the fact that my personal experience um, has not been good with that I would certainly recommend making sure your updates install properly. And if anyone does have a solution to the issues I've been having, please let me know. Uh, I could certainly use it because this is a great distribution. Um, I love Arch Linux. This is definitely an easy way to get it on a system, make it look how you want. The default looks very good. It's a bit customized, of course, with the Numix theme. The dash to dock is enabled by default. Uh, so, if anyone has a solution to that, I would love to pick up and start using this again. Which, 
If you see my last video, I actually mentioned uh, I was talking about Linux Mint being my new main OS, and I mentioned that I'm a big distro hopper, and I'll probably end up switching to something else soon. But so, of course, here I am saying how much I've loved Intergos and wish I could have still used it, and I really do because I used this prior to using Linux Mint as my main operating system until the updates broke. Um, so, if you have a solution to that, please let me know. I do recommend giving Intergos a try. Just make sure you try running those updates. Make sure it all works before you get too involved with it. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If there's anything you'd like to say, or you have an answer to my uh, update issues, please post in the comments. I do my best to reply to you. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel as well as click that notifications button. It'll make sure that you stay up to date with new content and are notified whenever new videos are posted. I'm glad you've watched this video. I will see you next time.